so if we talk about flooding that is a static routing technique and we are going to explore each and everything about flooding here right that can be asked in your gate computer science exam so it is a very important topic and everybody should must have know what exactly flooding is so let me try to write sequence by sequence all the important points and thereafter we are going to see that what kind of questions you may face what kind of question gate may ask from this topic so we can write it's a static algorithm it's a a static routing algorithm so we have already discussed about what are static routing algorithms and what are dynamic routing algorithms so it is a static routing algorithm uh, next point is in flooding we need to forward let me write the points and thereafter i will explain it right in flooding we need to forward the incoming packets incoming packets on all the outgoing links on all the outgoing links in the network in the network except from the link except from the link where it is coming from uh, except from the link from where it is coming okay now let's say we are having some routers let's say we are having some routers okay and let's say it is router a it is router b it is router c it is router d and let's say it is router e and they all are get connected and they all are connected so if they all are connected like let's say a is connected to b router a is connected to c router a is also connected to d let's say router b is connected to d router c is connected to d router b is connected to e router d is connected to e getting it then what will happen let's say we are having a packet here and we want to send this packet to let's say d let's say e then in flooding we need to forward the incoming packets on all the outgoing links it means that this packet will be forwarded in that direction this packet will also forwarded in that direction this packet will also forwarded in that direction right this will be happen let's say further this packet received here so this packet will be forwarded here as well as this packet will be forwarded here let's say this packet this packet will also forwarded here now let's say this device let's say router d it may receive it may receive the packet the same packet from a from b and from c right you are getting that each packet is going to be forwarded in all the links except from the router where it is coming so let's say if anybody wants to send data to d then d will receive multiple packets from a from b from c so the thing is that duplicate duplicate packet will be received here duplicate packet will be received here getting it duplicate packet will be received here so we are having some disadvantages here what are the disadvantages disadvantages are like in flooding in 
flooding routers are receiving routers are receiving duplicate packets duplicate packets so it will increase the condition load in the network so it will increase so it will increase the condition load the condition load in the network in the network one more disadvantage is associated here is it occupies more bandwidth it occupies more bandwidth obviously if the same packet is sended via various paths and definitely it will consume lot of bandwidth in that case because we are using the bandwidth for sending the same packet with the various links so definitely it will take more bandwidth but apart from it we are having some advantages also apart from it we are having some advantages associated with flooding so the thing is that we can find out the advantages is here is we can find out we can find out the physical existence of the physical existence of the destination of the destination even if we don't know even if we don't know the address getting it we can find out the physical existence of the destination even though we don't know the address so it is used so it can be used so it can be used for army or military purposes okay so this is the thing this is band, uh, this is basically concept of flooding that uh, a packet that can be with any particular router and we want to send that packet from a, a particular router to or you can say that source router to destination router then this will be send it to all the links that is present there and uh, that will be send it via like this that all the available links they are going to be sent and in that fashion it will be received by receiver but duplicate packet may be received so this is about flooding right now let's talk about the questions gate may ask from this topic right 